Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn few important basic points from the concept current electricity. So this video is going to be useful for all the aspirants who are preparing for HST exams. So this is given in the syllabus or the previous year syllabus accordingly. If you look into this is given, and also this video will be useful for GPSE exams, the basics exams like. KV exams, CRIs, all these recruitment exams also this will be useful. And if you are a school going student definitely this video will be helpful for you from this concept current electricity. I have covered these many points from this syllabus from the basic points. Okay. So before that if you are new to the channel kindly do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of the videos we upload here which will be useful for your exams like uh, TET exam, central TET also this will be useful. So after watching this video, kindly comment in the comment section whether this video is useful or not. So otherwise we can just carry with the maths classes okay in the next following videos. If this physics videos are helpful, kindly comment in the comment section because if you are watching and uh, there is no response from you then I can just go ahead with the other topics or mathematics or other subjects like okay. So in this video we are going to look into the few basic points like sources of electric current, DC and AC, direct current and alternating current, important circuit symbols, okay, circuit symbols which is used in the entire current electricity chapter, conductors and insulators of electric current with examples, open and closed circuits with circuit diagram and also few multiple choice questions, okay. So electric current, what is electric current? It is defined as a time rate of flow of charge through any cross section of conductor or the rate of flow of electric charge through any section of wire is called as current. So the rate it deals with the time at which time the charge is flowing at what time the charge is flowing. Okay. So if you consider this electric circuit here there is a battery a cell there is a cell and the output the power output the bulb is given and a wire is connected across this and the current starts flowing from this point positive to negative like this and on the other hand from negative to positive the electrons are flowing okay. So this charge in general the rate of flow of charge it could be of positive or negative but when we say in general about current we deal with positive charge only the moment of conventional current we say okay so we can look into this figure here the conventional current flow actually here battery is given so from positive to negative the conventional current is flowing when the electrons flow from negative to positive right so this is what current is so here the it is represented by a formula i is equal to q by t current is equal to charge by time okay and the AC unit of current is ampere and it is written like ampere here and the symbol for current is capital letter a because it is under the name of a scientist so only the symbol is capital letter and the remaining word ampere word should be all letters must be small letters that word must be small letter even though if comes under name of a scientist when we represent in unit you it has to be small letters then current is a scalar quantity even though we speak about it is moving from positive to negative negative to positive but when we look into the law of vector addition current does not obey the law of vector addition okay hence current is a scalar quantity okay next we can write the SI SA unit 1 ampere of current is equal to 1 coulomb per 1 second that is 1 ampere is equal to coulomb per second how do we define 1 ampere current 1 ampere current is the current which flows through a conductor of charge 1 coulomb for 1 second is called as 1 ampere current ok and moving further to steady current and varying current 
what is steady current the current whose magnitude does not change with time is called as steady current okay so andre idu steady current alli magnitude does not change change agodilla okay and in case of uh, direct current the direct current dc is the current of constant magnitude it flows in one direction only direct current for examples sources of direct current andre cells agirbodu batteries solar cells power supply ups power supply anta heltivella so adella kuda examples for direct current okay so remember direct current is the current of constant magnitude and it flows in one direction this is important point you have to remember and in case of varying current current whose magnitude changes with time is called as varying current alternating current ac is a current of varying direction and it means it reverses the direction at regular intervals of time adu direction flow of direction na change maadta irte ondu regular intervals of time ini like this okay ac direct uh, alternating current example are sources of ac are hydroelectric power plants iga water in the how they get the electric electricity right that is source of ac and thermal power stations is a source of ac nuclear power stations nuclear power plants kuda even ac generators are also the sources of ac alternating current okay and as we move the direction of the current the net flow of electric charge in any direction inside a solid conductor is zero okay higa ondu conductor ent helidre the net charge current flowing both the sides the total net charge inside a solid conductor is zero okay so as we look into the current carriers in the solid liquid and gaseous substances conductors especially so here in metals in case of solid conductors free electrons are the current carriers we know that in an atom here there will be lot of free electrons in the outermost shell okay it depends on the particular element and those free electrons are the current carriers in solid conductors in case of electrolytic solutions that is in liquid conductors are the solutions are either liquid or either their positively and negatively charged ions are the carriers current carriers in case of gaseous conductors like uh, discharge tubes and all their positive ions and electrons are the current carriers okay next as we move to the conductors and insulators of electric current conductors the substance which allow the current to flow through them easily are called conductors they have large number of free electrons and they are of very very small resistance of course conductors are also having resistance but it will be of very small in the path of the current in general all metals such as copper aluminum silver iron brass steel are conductors good conductors of electricity even human body is also a conductor of electricity and impure water okay that is acidulated water is also a conductor of electricity and even mercury is also a conductor of electricity okay we steel here we take this this connecting wire is made up of steel it is a conductor gold is a conductor silver sea water sea water contains salt of course and even copper all these are examples for conductors in case of insulators the substances which do not allow the current to flow through them are called insulators and whereas insulators do not have free electrons okay remember this point and they offer very high resistance insulators offer very high resistance in the path of the current some examples of insulators are cotton rubber plastic dry wood why we mention here dry wood is um, if it is a wet wood it can behave like a conductor okay so because it contains water if it contains um, the conductivity water then it may conduct hence it is dry wood paper glass leather silk pure water are examples for insulators okay so here you can see in the circuit 
instead of along with the circuit if you connect this dry wood it behaves like a insulator the circuit will not uh, allow the current to flow through them glass rubber plastic even oil is also an example of insulator so why i am taking from the basics from here is like in some exams the very basic things also could be asked and uh, if you remember fine if you forget to recall those things then it will be difficult at least to go through glands once the very basic points that's the reason i'm just going from the basics in the following classes we'll go to the higher level concepts also okay so you must understand from the basic level i hope you might be knowing the basic point just recall okay and as we move into closed and open circuit the path along which the current flows is called a circuit we know so in this is a battery and the current is flowing like this we generally represent from positive to negative right the flow of current and this is the path in which the current is flowing and this is called a circuit and the current flows if the circuit is completed or if it is closed okay what do you mean be closed the switch must be on okay here this is a symbol of switch we know and this must be on and there should be no insulators in between them it should be a fully conductor then only the circuit is complete or closed if the circuit is open or incomplete current does not flow and in case of an electric circuit to be complete every part of it must be made of conductor only okay you cannot have any insulators in between them it could be outer side outer the outer part of the wire could be of insulator but inside it should be of metal then only it can behave like a conductor okay if there is an insulator in the path of the circuit then the circuit is broken okay the circuit is incomplete then the current will not flow even the switch is not on if it is open switch also the current will not flow so this is a open circuit this is a closed circuit okay you can observe here next as we move into the symbols the circuit symbols used in the entire electricity chapter first one an electric cell how do we represent a cell a long line and a small line like this joint and this side this the long line is represented as positive and the shorter line is negative okay there should be a small gap between this okay and this is the symbol for electric cell or generally cell and a battery many cells connected in series are called as battery here positive negative again positive and more negative again positive negative like this if many cells are connected in series this is called a battery plug key or a switch open switch like this we represent open switch and where if you put a dot inside this then the switch is closed or the plug key is closed we can say this both plug key and switch is also same a wire joint there is a wire and you are joining another wire and you have to represent by a just a mark so this is for wire joint wire crossing without joining if it is without joining if it is crossing one a small hump like structure then this wire is passing through this okay electric bulb you know we represent like this bulb or a normal bulb also like this diagram electric bulb circuit a resistor or a resistance r normally like the straight line then starts from upper point okay like this resistor a variable resistance or resistor or rheostat rheostat means variable resistor same resistor with a small variable an arrow mark like this it should be or an arrow mark can come from above also like this resistor rheostat this is an example a circuit for rheostat ammeter how do we represent ammeter just write a a circle and positive negative this is ammeter voltmeter same with volt just symbol will be v that's it and the same again you can also represent switch open switch like this thermistor this is a symbol for thermistor and a lamp a lamp is also represented like this with a cross inside lamp switch closed we can also represent like this and cell we have we already saw ammeter fuse this is a symbol for fuse like a straight uh, rectangle box and this wire is passing through this fuse 
ground grounding we all uh, must be aware of this small like this lines from this grounding and voltmeter we saw diode you see symbol of diode is a triangle shape here like this two joints a positive and negative where there is sharp edge that is negative this is the symbol for diode inductor inductor like this coil it is and battery we saw resistor resistor can also be like this represented next a buzzer that is a here you see like this symbol and next one is LDR that is light dependent resistor okay symbol for this so these are the very basic symbols which are used in the electric circuits now try to answer a few multiple choice questions from this I have just taken few only so a cell is used to what is the answer measure current in a circuit provide current in a circuit check current in a circuit prevent the current in a circuit of course it will not prevent the current checking current to agala measure the current in a circuit to agala so obviously cell provides the current in a circuit option b and the ac unit of current is what is the ac unit of current obviously ampere is the answer third one the insulator is among this which is the insulator kindly check out and if there is time please comment in the comment box for this answer okay so i have just tried to cover few important basic points in this video in the following videos i shall continue with this chapter along with the question paper questions if any if it is repeated in the hstr exams or gpstr exams also i will try to put up here we will just learn this complete chapter of electricity for keeping this in mind of kv exams and Christ exams also it will be helpful for like in depth we will go and explain okay thank you thank you for watching uh, check our channel playlist for the previous videos actually i have explained few concepts of current electricity for the gpsr exam only it is there in the playlist okay for more references whenever you are free you can just go to the playlist and kindly watch those videos okay thank you thank you for watching